Hello, Scorpio. We have a situation here that's calling you into your authenticity. Okay, to gain the courage to step out of your comfort zone. To claim a connection that is once in a lifetime. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Scorpio Tarot reading. It is a general reading for October 3rd through the 9th. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for next week. weird cut but okay brilliant virgin number five interesting very interesting this is about sticking to your guns okay very much about sticking to your guns what you truly believe it says in a world where we are bombarded daily with differing opinions and ideas remaining true to you and your own point of view is nothing short of brilliant let go of confusion, distortion, comparison, and compromise. You do not need to compare yourself to another or measure up to anyone or anything else. What matters to you and your successful life journey is to be in touch with your own truths. You know what you feel no matter what anyone else says or believes. Stay true to you. This feels like a Scorpio who... Okay. A lot of times in readings, uh, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, sword energy comes up for Scorpio and that's just like that's just typical that's just typical it it feels like this is that situation where a Scorpio is being called to put the swords aside put the logic aside and dive into the depths that you are you are a fixed water sign okay it's time to kind of backstroke through that okay because that's what is authentically you Let's see what energy is going to complement the Brilliant Virgin. Ha 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 ha. That's fitting. Step out of your comfort zone. Mm. Okay. So you could have been... You could have rolled with a particular crowd of people where you weren't able to fully be yourself. It could have been a superficial alliance, for example. Okay. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio next week. And so now that you're being called to step into your energy, yeah, there, secrets. There, there's, there, there, yeah. The, the thoughts, the, the secret thoughts. It's time, it's time to, ooh. What about the Ten of Cups, Scorpio? Did you break a Taurus's heart? Or did your heart get broken about a Taurus? The truth about them is that they bring you happiness. Interesting. We don't even have any cards out yet. <laughs> Not any tarot, anyway. <sighs> you think about this person a lot. Okay. Almost there. There we go. Let's dig into this. This is already interesting. Look at you. Moon energy underneath. The depth of Scorpio. That is your water cousin, Pisces energy. The star. Aquarius energy. Fixed air. Queen of pentacles. Seven of swords. Strength. Leo energy. Nine of cups. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Hmm. I'm gonna read this side as you, Scorpio. This is your person. This is the situation. This is this this is a faded connection. It is a faded connection, one that needs to be healed. Okay, it needs to be healed. Healing has happened, is happening, needs to happen. We're going to see because we're gonna expand on that situation. I feel like there's an age gap here. Hmm. Got the eight of pentacles under the deck with the three of pentacles here. Still kind of pointing to 
a work scenario, a coworker scenario. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so you probably weren't single. You probably weren't single. You might be now. You probably weren't single. So you realized that the person around you that is single is actually your Ten of Cups. There's that Eight of Pentacles again. Yep. But you're kind of chained to someone. Okay. Okay. Could be married. Could simply be an Earth sign. Empress did come up under, so that it is Taurus and Libra. <sighs> Hmm. I feel like your person knows what they want. Like they always knew what they wanted. Okay. And it's almost like you're catching up. Okay. Let's get into the situation. The star. Please expand on the star, please. Show me what's going on here. Six of Wands trying to pop out again there. There you are, Death Card of Scorpio, Page of Wands. You're going in with the offer. Ooh, for new investment, okay. You're going towards them, you are going towards them, look at you. Brave soul, for sure. Nine of Swords, not without anxiety. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, this one wants to come out too. Three of Wands, okay. Like I, like I said, I don't freak out when I see swords for you. <laughs> I don't freak out when I see swords for you. So there's, there's some curiosity here about reaching out to this person to make a new offer. Could be a job offer to try to get them to come back. Um, it feels like they're really established where they are, though. Okay. Um... I do like the sign of progression here because you're progress you're progressing in the 3D world while you're while you're going backwards in severity of the mind. So that's good. That is good. Okay. Um, it feels like that once you offer the thing, whatever the thing is, because Ace of Pentacles could be a gift, physical gift. Um, it's almost like you got to stand back and just watch to see what happens because you might not have an immediate response. Okay. Ooh. Scared to make the love offer, huh? You don't want to get canned. I make that fair. <laughs> totally fair. Let's dig into Scorpio's side, please, with this Queen of Pentacles. Show me who this is. And what they represent, please. Two of Pentacles, Hangman. Yeah, this is a connection that has ended before. It looks like you ended something else. It looks like you ended something else once an epiphany hit either about the person that you're with or about what this person means to you. Could be both. Okay, but there's there's definitely an epiphany there. And it's like the, oh shit, what do I do? <laughs> now that I know this information. Okay, strength card of Leo. Let's expand there, please. There's more Leo, king of wands. You want this bad. You want this so bad. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to see the determination there with the King of Wands back by the Strength card. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Pentacles. And. Empress. Judgment, so you understand who your actual Empress is. Card of Taurus and Libra. Wanting to revive this connection to start over. To absolutely start over. There's that. Reuniting to celebrate there with that three of cups. Okay. Trying to stick to your guns. You know what you feel now. The epiphany hit. You want the ten of cups. You want the ten of cups. Okay. Six of cups with the queen of wands. So someone that is determined. Someone who is 
gets it gets whatever it is done who you already have a rapport with could be a soulmate return even a past life soulmate okay let's get into the seven of swords what are these secret thoughts please Page of Swords, star again. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, those three came out. Okay. Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So you. So full disclosure, they have actually been indirectly keeping an eye on you. Okay. Um they do they do want to heal the connection okay they they do want to heal the connection they again they feel really established where they are so when you come in it's going to feel like a destabilization of the foundation they've laid and so their knee-jerk reaction might be anger okay their knee-jerk reaction might be anger okay they're not sure what to do with the new beginning you are offering yet, according to that Nine of Swords, when it first comes in. Nine of Cups. Please expand on the Nine of Cups, please. Page of Wands, Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Eight again, Eight of Pentacles. Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Eight, 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 eight. Numbers of abundance. Good. And the positive eights weigh out the negative eight. Also good. So this feminine energy is actually going to have... It is... They want this conversation to happen. Even if it's just a final conversation. Okay. Um, she's going to have a lot of questions um, to ask you about where it looks like where you went um questions about what you thought about things there's something here about what you thought certain things were at work if you guys did work together go to school together whatever it was that was together there's specific questions about certain memories in that environment of what certain things that were said or did actually meant Okay, and why was the connection blocked? Okay. Yep, someone got their ego blown the F up for a soul bond, which is good. Which is good. This is going to be a good conversation to have. Knight of Swords again. Let's expand on this Knight of Swords at the bottom, please. Oh, so the anger's over. Woo! And look what happens after that. <laughs> Yay! Ten of Cups, Two of Wands. Two of Wands isn't just a choice point or a crossroads. It's also new partnerships or contract. That's uh, long-term happiness in love and you with another person. And you both have it. You both want it. Okay. You both want it to reconnect, to bring the love in. This, this person... This person does want this to be fixed. This person does want this to be fixed. Okay. And if you're screaming at me right now saying, I hate this person and blah, 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 then this ain't your reading. Okay. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. You're going to bring this in like a champ, make the offer, and then you're going to be all up in your head until you hear back from them or until they respond. That's fair. This is destined to happen. Okay. Destined to happen. A faded connection. So I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what this Queen of Swords slash Queen of Pentacles is uh, doing in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So... If you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, 
messages between you at this point in time as well as timing feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i'll see you guys over there Bye.